My name is Devashish, and I'm a doctoral student, uh, second year in psychology department uh, in the clinical psychology program. Um, Dave, stay towards the left so you get on the camera. Oh. With Tucker. Um, Tucker um, asked me to give uh, this presentation, and he said, "Dave, you got to actually stand even more. Sorry. Huh? You got to stand even more to the left if you can." Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Uh, he said that I should prepare this presentation so that um, I can explain human brain to my grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I so. I'm, I'm taking a neuroanatomy class uh, this semester, uh, and uh, so I, I try to make this very simple, and, and you know, if I just breeze through it, we can finish it in five minutes. So, <laughs> so if you have uh, uh, questions, uh, just uh, feel free to ask. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna uh, start with essentially uh, brain. And so if you think brain, uh, as your your hand and you fold your uh, fingers and then you fold your thumb right next to it this pretty much uh, describes the entire brain uh, and you can uh, uh, take this the, the finger portion of it as frontal lobe your thumb as temporal lobe, and your the back of hand as parietal, and if you if you finish it here, so this part will be the occipital lobe. So these are the main four lobes of the brain, and there is one more section in it, which is in the medial part of the brain. When we uh, divide the brain uh, into its hemisphere, the middle section, uh, it, it has the limbic lobe in it too. Uh, but I won't go uh, into it too much. <coughs> um, a little bit more about uh, the brain. How the uh, initially, uh, traditionally, brain was divided into these lobes based on the shape of our skull. So uh, if you have seen uh, um, any skull or if you see my bald head, <laughs> uh, now you can uh, see that uh, normally uh, uh, we have these sutures coming up right here. And um, what anatomists about uh, 200 years ago, they decided, okay, so this, this part of the brain is the frontal lobe. And then they decided that this part is the parietal lobe, and then the back of the brain is occipital. But later on, when we learn more about the brain, actually the anatomy of the brain, not from the skull itself, but the brain uh, with its ridges and, and uh, valleys, <coughs> uh, we divided brain into Again, same frontal, parietal, uh, temporal lobe, but based on these ridges. So, um, brain has uh, uh, the 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 uh, gyri, the the top part, the mountainous part is called gyri. Uh, uh, is that gyri? Yeah. So, uh, gyri, uh, and uh, and then there are uh, sulci in between where the brain folds in uh, between the gyri. <coughs> um, the reason I'm uh, telling you this is this is a very uh, complicated uh, picture, but I just want to present uh, uh, this essentially the, the to show how a brain is. Uh, divided into smaller sections, <clears throat> and this uh, uh, smaller sections are based on many many uh, reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, because of the uh, where the gyri end and it becomes a sulci. That's one way of dividing. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, another way of looking at into the uh, actually slicing the brain and looking at its uh, 
uh, neuronal structure. <coughs> so uh, the neuronal structure of one section of the brain is different from the uh, other section of the brain. Uh, the, the latest way we divide brain into is using the functional magnetic resonance imaging. Uh, uh, through which we are learning more and more about uh, brains, uh, not only anatomy, but functioning of the brain. And so <clears throat> sometimes the regions which work together, <coughs> we uh, classify that as uh, one region. So uh, this is, uh, th uh, this map is created by uh, imaging software. Um, so um, now I want to tell a little bit more about um, specific areas of the brain and, and their functioning. But oh, before I go into that, I want to say that brain works as a system. So it, it's actually hard to say, well, in this region there's memory, in this region there's speech. For some regions, actually for some functions, we can say things like that. But essentially, the whole brain works mainly as a system. Uh, but still, we can uh, divide the uh, brain into main areas that this main function is done by essentially this area, which is um, more important for a particular function. So um, uh, in the temporal lobes, uh, the uh, memory, so temporal lobes the, are uh, thumb, the area of sides of the brain. They are mainly uh, important for uh, memory uh, and converting short-term memory into long-term memory. Um, and uh, so uh, amnesics, for example, uh, if, if uh, somebody has uh, a temporal lobe cut off, and uh, it happens sometimes uh, in patients who uh, get um, uh, epilepsy seizure. It, uh, it normally starts from the temporal lobe, and it goes across, so, so, so that uh, the effect of epilepsy doesn't go and damage the rest of the brain. Sometimes the um, lobes have to be removed, and then they become am amnesics. So uh, temporal lobes are uh, important for memory. Uh, left uh, temporal uh, lobe, so specifically the left side, uh, it is used for language comprehension uh, and uh, so back, back section of the temporal lobe is uh, for uh, language comprehension and uh, verbal memory problems. And the right uh, temporal lobe is for spatial memory. So both are uh, required for memory, but they have some distinct uh, um, uh, functions. Again, uh, th this is the generalized view. Uh, for example, in uh, left-handed people, yes, sometimes it's bilateral. So they use both lobes for language, for example. <coughs> Uh, parietal lobes are uh, involved in short-term memory and uh, spatial perception. So, uh, for example, where I am right now in this room. Uh, and uh, uh, 